Welcome to Pastors Chad. What a joy to come to you again with God's Word as we're studying Romans chapters 12 and 13 and learning about the responsibility we have in our relationships, first to God, then with others, and then, of course, with our enemies and also the state government. And today, <laughs> wow, what an interesting subject, one that we probably would not like to hear about, but here it is right here in Scripture. As we are, are to fulfill our responsibility to government, to be submissive to the government powers, God placed them there. And by the way, we're reminded in this passage, chapter 13, verse 1, that every authority that's in place, God himself, sovereign God, providentially, is the one who allowed that person to become the head of state. And we are to render to that person the honor due to that position. As, as we live in a world. God knows that our hearts are evil. Matter of fact, God instituted human government right after, right after the flood. And the flood, of course, was upon an evil world that had forsaken God, was going their own way, wouldn't listen to God. And God only had one guy and his family, Noah and his family, that was willing to obey him. And God saved them through the ark. But after the ark and the saving of his family through from this flood, God then instituted human government. Why? Because he knew men's hearts are evil and we need someone to govern us. If we will not govern ourselves according to the dictates of God's word and the conscience that God gives us, then we will need to be governed. Otherwise, we would destroy each other. And so God has ordained government. Could you imagine? And <laughs> I've been to a few countries where they do have some laws, but nobody pays attention to the laws. Nobody's enforcing the laws. And I'm telling you, you get in traffic in those wor that part of the world. I I I've been there many, many times. My greatest fear is not uh, everything else, the food and getting sick. It's the traffic and getting run over because nobody's enforcing the law. Well, that's the way it would be if there was no government at all. We would be destroying each other. Just go to a pagan uh, culture anywhere in the world that has no government set up at all. People live in fear of their lives every day because they have no idea who deceitfully might take them into a trap and kill them. And I'm telling you, it's a bad place to live. Thank God for good government, especially if they're being a terror to evil and they're rewarding good. And that's what this passage is about. Now, for that government to operate, oh, here's what we don't want to hear. They must have some money. And to have money people have to pay taxes. So here in verse 6, he says, Therefore, you must be subject, not only because of wrath, but for conscience sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are God's minister attending continually to this very thing. Render therefore to all their due, taxes to whom taxes are due, custom to whom customs, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom honor. And so God tells us to pay taxes. Because why? The government authorities and the police officers and the military who are protecting us from evil, they need their due. They need money to operate. And so he says, pay taxes. Now, Jesus himself even said, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar and to God the things that are God. In other words, Jesus endorsed paying taxes. And then he also, in this passage, Paul says, these people, these police officers, these law enforcement people, they are God's ministers to execute terror on evil and to reward what is good. Now, we always thought the ministers were the preachers behind the pulpits, you know. And I'm telling you, my friend, God says even law enforcement officers are ministers. So if you're a soldier or you're a law enforcement officer, God says you're his minister. In other words, you're working on his behalf to make this a better world. And I thank you for that. And I praise you for that. And you deserve good pay for risking your life every day to help protect my life and the lives of my family and others. And I thank you for that. And I am so pleased to be able to take a few moments today in this pastor's chat to remind us that we're to owe no man anything. We are to pay our taxes. We are to make sure we're paying our bills and have a good testimony because that's what he goes on to say. And we'll be looking at that passage in verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love one another. And that's our thought for tomorrow. But today, God bless you and thanks for being a part of Pastor's Chat with us. And I hope you'll be encouraged to know that we live in a great world that God has put together for us to live for Him. You live for Him. Be an example of a great witness 
And I ask this and pray this for you in Jesus' name. God bless. Have a great day.